Yo, what up, bad friends? Guess what? We got new merch, baby. Yes, the Rudy University series. This is the Rudy University shirt in black. We also got the gym shorts. We got gym shorts for you, the Rudy University gym shorts, and the Rudy University shirt in maroon. Maroon. So go to badfriendsmerch.com to snag those right now. Badfriendsmerch.com. It's right down below. You know how to get it. Snag this stuff before it all goes and sells out. Also, I'm on tour. AndrewSantino.com for those tickets. I'm going to be in Denver. I'm going to be in Nashville. I'm going to Boston. Uh, and we're adding 22 cities in two weeks. We'll be adding all of the cities I'm going to. Uh, but come see me, Denver, Nashville, Boston, uh, and many, many more at AndrewSantino.com. AndrewSantino.com. You two are bad friends. Who are these two idiots? A white dude and an Asian dude. You two are disgusting. Well, you two are something. We're bad friends. I just got off an airplane. I just got in from Houston. Yeah. How was it? Pretty good, dude. Sold out? Sold out. Four shows in Houston. Did you meet Raymond yet? Did you meet Raymond? Who's Raymond? He's the general manager of all of them over there. Uh, No, I didn't meet a GM. So but when we're driving here, this is what Jules goes. Jules what? goes. What she say? We, we had a really nice moment because we're driving and she goes, um, Tutu Papi. I go, what? Can you play American Pie? Can you play? American oh. Pie. Oh, the song American Pie? The song Pie? American Pie. Really? So I, I'm driving and I'm like, you know what I mean, trying to find it. Yeah. We park. I finally have it on. <laughs> right? And I go, the music starts playing. Uh, you know, I don't want to sing it because I want to get flagged, but like. Now, you can La sing it if it's original. Go ahead. Do your version. Bye, bye, Mr. American Pie. Yep. Right? Drove and I'm kind of, And I'm kind of like dancing a little bit. Mm -hmm. because and, I, and she's sitting there, and I'm like, this could be a moment. Between you guys. Yeah, like a cool summer moment. Yeah. Where, you know, and we're, we're listening to a fucking song that she requested, and her uncle, you know, and my niece, we're just having a moment. Yeah. And she goes... Let's go inside and there's waiting. And I go, no, let's have a moment. No, I don't want to. Right? And, that, and I go, we're finishing the song. <laughs> right? So we sit there and I'm trying to get the song. And she does not want to have a moment with me. Why don't you want to have a moment with Tito? Because we're late. No, you weren't late. Well, you were already late. It didn't matter. It didn't so at matter that point, at just, point, just enjoy it. Do you not like having moments with him? Is that what it is? Are you scared of having like a, a really nice, sweet moment? No, I'm okay with it. All right, well, let's have one right now. I want you to look him in the face right now yeah, and yeah. say, Tito, Bobby, I, I love and respect you. You mean the world to me. And then we're going to pl play American Pop. You can't play it, huh? We, we can play it in you the sing, studio. You sing your own version. Okay, ready for right, you guys so right let's now. Do it so again. turn All on right. the radio. So say, tell me to play the song. Tito, Bobby, can you play American Pie? Excuse me, sweetheart? <laughs> Which is what I would not say. <laughs> My lovely sweetheart, excuse me? Can you play American Pie? Oh, oh sweetheart, my love. I'll play it. <laughs> play. Bye, bye, Miss American Pie. Drove my Chevy to the levee, but the <laughs> levee was dry. Them good old boys were drinking that's her. whiskey. And she has hanging a migraine. Don't do that with your face. That Let's I have the die. moment. This will be the day that I die. Okay, good. That yeah, fuck it. It's not working. Why don't you? Why don't you want to participate and have a moment with him? You know, he's getting older and he thinks about this stuff. My parents do this too. They're getting older and they want to soak up these moments because they're fleeting. Yeah, you, it, you only uh, got seriously. Think about this. I, 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 know, I know. You have thirty summers left. That's it. Maybe even less. Probably twenty summers. Isn't that crazy? To think it's about? crazy. Twenty summer. Twenty. And when I look in the left. mirror now, yeah. I go. I literally think. Oh, you're dying. You're dying. Like I could see my f my the the bags on my eyes and the wrinkles and the and the liver spots forming. Yeah. Right. Yep. And I could just see when I get up, I go, oh, I have to make a noise. Ah, my knees, you know, my back. Right. So it's like I'm dying. She's dying. And you, you don't want to have a fucking moment with me. Why not, Rude? I don't know. I'm yeah. tired. She's tired. She's tired. You're tired a lot. Yeah. She's tired. You know, she's tired. I get why she's tired because. She um, what she had a busy day today. She she saw Black Widow. Oh, and that's it. That's it. Oh my, oh my god. god, that's it. <laughs> that's so tiring. That was your day. Yeah. Oh, cool. <laughs> I flew from Houston. Okay. Then I got home, had to make dinner, clean up the house, and do my laundry, and then I got here. Got here on time. So shut up. <laughs> yeah. Black Widow. Black Widow. How did you like it? Though it was good, wasn't it? I heard it was good. good. What was it? It topped the bottom. It was the biggest box top to the office. Top since to the bottom. Top to the bottom of the yeah, box office. Yeah. 
You know what I also saw the, last Roni. night, which I didn't want to like? I, I finished Manifest, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> did you see the whole season? I did not. I uh, didn't. I just couldn't get through what I... I couldn't you get know, through. how many episodes did you get in? Five? Yeah. Six? I don't yeah, even know. It, yeah. I, I, I know. Look at me. Let him go. No. Yeah. I can't. Break it. You know what I mean? I had. There was a moment where I was like, is, he, is this a bit? No. Can you make me watch this as a bit? I'm on the plane watching Manifest. I'm not. It, it's good in a bad way. It's like what Lost was. Mm, but Lost, Lost was pretty. Lost was kind of good. Lost had good. Mo- you, know, you, you know what's weird when you're watching a, pl- a plane crash yeah. on the airplane? Because people look over at you watching people oh, that's so on a plane fun. crash. That's so on funny. Air- or like a, a plane moment. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like I try, like, the, when the turbulence and the lights go out and the guy looked next to me and looked at him and I was like. Ooh. No, you know, I, I always thought because we, we, we fly a lot. And I always think to myself, this is the one. This is the one. And then, like, I've had turbulence where it was really bad. Me too. And um, I'm always thinking, like, if, you know, we were really soaring down mm-hmm. and they lost complete control, like the engine is map, out, map, 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 right? Map, and the map. lights are going off and people are screaming, <sighs> what I would do? What, what would I do? do? What would you do? I don't think I would scream. I've asked this before. I say, that if you can only yell out, if you could yell out two words. Yeah. What would your two words be? Suck on. Suck on? Yeah, yeah. Suck on. Suck on. <laughs> because I'd probably see a hot chick. Right. Suck right, on. We're going down. And I think that cheating at that point, I'm dying. Right. You, and you think she's going to undo her seatbelt and be like, okay. Well, and, uh, maybe. I, mean, oh. I don't know. But I think I would probably eye out. I, yeah, I always eye out the hottest chicken thing, right? So if mm-hmm. she's like five rows Rose behind me, mm-hmm. right? I'd probably turn and go, suck on. Right? Suck on. And she goes, Okay, <laughs> right? We'd be like, it's it would be difficult. Dun, 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 it'd be difficult. Dun, 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 and then I would pull dun, dun, it down, dun, dun. right? And we're like trying to ba- suck on. Suck on. We're trying to balance, right? I you do have to. I mean, I'm not trying to be aggressive, mm. but I would have to grab her head. I mean, I guess because the plane is moving, it's yeah, yeah, shifting just, all just, over just the place. Just to hold myself, you know what I mean? Right. So, right. And then as she's doing it. The plane would level out, <laughs> right? And I'd just be like... Sorry about that, folks. That was just a little bit of turbulence there. <laughs> but then w- would you... I hope nobody has their dick out and they yelled, suck on in the middle of that crash. <laughs> but would you tell your girlfriend? Yeah, you'd have to. I don't think so. You Because you almost died, so that's Because I didn't pass. come. Oh, right. Okay, then yeah. Then yeah, you're yeah, good. I didn't come, yeah, so you're I, right. I think if I came... That's the rules. That's the rule, right? That's the rule. Yeah, yeah. So if I you're in a dying situation... Anything. But then other people, probably two or three people on the plane maybe recognize me. Do you think? Yes, a for sure. A couple of people. I think a right? few, yeah. So I think they would say something. Right. That's kind of like those people that are, you know, there might be people trapped in that building in Florida. You know, they, they oh had to go God. look. It's a nightmare. But dude. can you imagine, this is sad and weird and gross. Nightmare. But imagine you're trapped for like two days. Nightmare. And you know you're going to die. Yeah. And you don't know if they're going to save you. Do you ever just, you think somebody just rubs one out? Is his last go? Don't you want one last nut? You're like, look, I'm, okay, gonna, okay. I'm, 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 look, I'm trapped underneath rocks. Yeah. And I'm just bro, like, bro, I've been yelling if, help for two days. Bro, even if my hands were pinned, yeah. right? You just rub I would it against still the rocks. Get, no, I'd find like a, <laughs> a fucking pipe sticking out and I would try to get my dick in the pipe, <laughs> right? And I would just do like 15 plums. I would double like, yeah. and they would find my body with my dick With your dick in a pipe. In a pipe, <laughs> but with a smile on my yeah. face. Yeah, yeah, I think yeah, you'd want to go, you'd want one more nut. Yeah. But what? Like I thought about that when Franco was in that 127 hours or whatever. I would have fucked the crack. You'd have fucked the crack. You would have fucked the crack. Yeah, you'd have fucked the crack. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's interesting to me. Like so, if you're trapped, if you're trapped and you know you're gonna die, yeah, because the chances of getting out are are almost non-existent. Yeah, you, maybe you want one more. Let's say you're pinned under the thing. Yeah, and, right. Uh, yeah, pinned. And you have your left hand, right? Yeah. And there's a girl next to you. <laughs> 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 that's all I'm gonna end. I'm gonna end there. <laughs> no, that's. Not I was gonna say. Oh, what were you gonna say? Are you okay? Yeah, are you gonna tap her to see if she was fine? <laughs> yeah, I was, I was tap, tap her. So you okay? Are you alive? And she'd be dead. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What yeah. are your last two words on a plane, Jules? It's going down. Bam, bam, bam. Going down, and it's oh no! Everyone's freaking out. And then Jules, you get to yell out. I when I yell, I usually say "Mama." Mama. Yeah. And then just someone, kill the man. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you yell, "Mama!" Yeah. Some guy in the yeah. back goes, "Ooh." <laughs> <laughs> Mama! Yeah, that's so cool. <laughs> That'd be 
hilarious. The pilot's like, didn't mean to make you cry. <laughs> and everyone sings Bohemian Rhapsody. <laughs> that would be so cool. That'd be cool. What a cool way to go out. That's a cool way to go out. <laughs> As it's crashing. <laughs> well, that's cool. That you would is... start a song. You would start a song. That's amazing. I love that. What song else could you start? On a plane like that? Well, yeah. you know that, like the it's gotta be a song that everyone knows. You know, like the song they play at the stupid Red Sox games is uh, "Sweet Caroline." Yeah, how do ba we ba ba. You know. Yeah. Sweet Caroline. And but you'd be embarrassing kid. if your flying. You you think I'm gonna start a song? We're dying. And you try. And you go sweet, and no one says anything. <laughs> And you're just kind of like, oh, that's a bummer. You go, sweet Caroline. And everyone's like, <laughs> <laughs> it's so dark. Dude, you know what? But every time I fly, I, I, every time I fly into Burbank, yeah. it's so sketchy. The runways are this big yeah. and they have to barrel down. Mm -hmm. And this time we landed on the left wheel and then the right wheel went down. And everyone went like this. Ooh. Yeah. Like you feel it, dude. Let me, let me ask you this. When you're sitting, you know how when you sit down in the emergency exit row and the... I'm not doing a hacky joke, but I'm just like a stewardess comes up to you and he says, "In the case of emergency, are you going to be able to help?" Yeah, and you you always go, yeah, "Yes, I'll help. yes, of course." But yeah. you know, deep down inside, you're not never going to help because I don't know how it works. <laughs> no, first of all, I'm opening do, the do door. You know how to, I don't know how any of the levers work or anything like that. I'm pulling it up and I'm running out by myself. But do, is that all you do is pull it up? Yep, I'm leaving everybody behind me. I feel like there's three or four things you have to do with that door. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, I think uh, yeah, yeah. There's no the way. Coat. No, it's that big lever cracks open and uh -huh. the door the door swings sideways and pushes out and it's off. Yeah, I would just run. Well, it, well, if I was in this emergency exit road, I would be passed out and I'd, I'd just be a blockage. I think, <laughs> sir. Yeah, they'd have to hop over my body. It'd be a whole like a you know that's what I mean extra a, thing. That's an extra thing to have they to have deal to with do, on yeah. the way out. Yeah, but you don't sit by the exit row anymore. You're a rich guy. You sit in first class, baby. That I, only, but that only started in the last couple of years. Mm-hmm. Because before it's like I don't want, I don't want to say, but my manager's like cheap. Yeah, they you know? book the flights for you. My manager books the flights. Oh, still and to the day, sweetie. It's just you know, it's a three hour flight, so just do middle seat Southwest. Mm -hmm. And I'd be always like, all right. Yeah, yeah. The worst was when you never chose your own flights and no. shit, dude. That's like my nightmare. Here's where it ended. So I, this is a true story. Mm -hmm. So I did the Oddball fest, co Comedy Festival, San Francisco. No. Wasn't it in San Francisco? We I did the Texas run. Oh. So it was me, Sebastian Maloscalco, Ali Wong, Tom Segura, a bunch of people, right? Wow. Dane Cook. Wow. And um big names. We're all supposed to book our own flights. So I have the manager who I have. So we all are flying out in Burbank to Texas, but we're all at the airport. Yeah. All the managers got their clients first class. Except coach. for you. Wow. So they get in first. Mm -hmm. And now I'm sitting there like I'm also zone three or four. You're the back of the plane. Yeah, I'm the back of the plane, right? Yeah, you're not even getting. And I'm just seat. like, like literally thinking, should I fire my manager, <laughs> right? And then as I walk through fucking first class, these guys start throwing fucking shit at my face. That's so funny. It's so funny. Segura and those guys. Oh yeah, they start pillows, <laughs> and they're like, "Boo!" You scare me. Get back! You know, they're like yelling, "Get back!" Back there, of the bus, you little immigrant. You know what I mean? And like just acting a fool. And so I'm back there, and each one of them through the flight would go back there and throw me like peanuts <laughs> <laughs> or stuff that they got in the first class. That's so it's mean. It's so mean, but it was so funny. But that's big props because you would, you, Bobby Lee, would it, do that absolutely to somebody else. No. If we were on the same flight and I went past you, you would totally fuck with me. Yes, you yeah, it would. It would be so fun. Yes, you would. It'd be so fun. But um, you'd fuck with so me. So then after that, I got back in town. I said to Abby, I go, I just, I think we can do sometimes first class. Yeah. Especially in that situation, it's like. If you're flying as much as as much as much we fly, yeah, I get that. By the way, when we go to Cancun. Yeah. When we do Bad Friends in Cancun, what is she, does she get first class? That's What's, a big thing. That's well, a it's big not, discussion. We're not, they're paying for it. I know, but they, they're asking us what flights we want. Yeah. And where we want to sit. So do we put her in the first? Uh, Have you flown no. first class? Um. I think when you never the Bob No, we went to Seattle and then it was first class. Oh yeah, I put you in first class. Yeah. You did. Yeah. That's very nice of you. Man, you keep doing nice stuff I, for this chick. I know she doesn't want to have moments with me. It's crazy. And you don't want to have a moment in the car where he wants to sing one song. No. You know what? That that right there, you're not getting in first class on the way to Cancun. And Cancun is yeah. not a close flight, by the way. Yeah. That's a nice little trip. And in fact, when we land in the airport, yeah. you're going to find your own way right home. That's right. That's no. the Yeah, so start learning Spanish right now. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, how do you say uh, how do you say take me to the resort in Spanish? 
You know how? Ew. Well, you better learn it, kiddo, because you're going to be on and your since own. since that Tuesday she performed, mm -hmm. she's got a little... Oh, she's getting cocky. Yeah. I knew it, dude. That's I could feel is. that yeah, she was getting yeah. a little bit... Because she walked in here, and she kind of sloughed her way in, and she goes, same studio, huh? Yeah. That's what she said. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like it's, a, like it's old news to her. <laughs> and like one of the dogs is her dogs. Mm -hmm. Yeah, one of the dogs is her dog. She's like the primary. Yeah. And this fucking dog's shitting all over the house. And right? she doesn't She doesn't. And now, no, she used to, but now I have to clean it. Really? She's like, Tito Bobby. <laughs> With her f finger, Tito Oh, Bobby. She, wa she waggles she it at you? Tito Bobby. You got a lot of I nerve, go, kid. Yeah, yeah. You got a lot of nerve. And then you know what she also did? Mm. Which literally was... The most horrifying thing I've ever seen in my life. In terms of like my body reacting to it. Yeah. I got goosebumps. I'm not kidding you. From the top of my head to my toes. I cringed. And I almost kind of yelped. So I'm in the backyard smoking. You know what I'm talking about. And so I put the cigarette out. And there's a gigantic, not gigantic, but a mid-sized metallic trash bin with a lid on it. Right. So I put out the cigarette, and I always put the butts in there. So I lifted it up, and there was probably, oh, my God. There was probably 200,000 maggots. Ew. I know. Crawling up this thing. What did you all leave in the, there? L l l all, I don't, and then dog vomit. Oh, my God. Dog vomit. Who threw dog vomit in? You did. Yeah. yeah. And the maggots were all over that? Oh, dude, you got to hose that out, kid. We already sprayed it with um, insecticide spray, so. Okay, that probably does work. <laughs> we have, I guess. You water? You're going to water it? Ho I hose it out. Whenever so the, dog, where is it? the maggots Whenever the go. dog pukes, I just hose out the Oh, grass. yeah, no, yeah, but when you have maggots, what do you do? I, I've never had that situation <laughs> ever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But like when the dog throws up in the yard, I just break out the hose and hose it out. Not her. She clumps it together, <laughs> leaves it open, <laughs> no! and puts it in the hot summer sun. I put yeah. it in yeah, a yeah, plastic. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If, you find, if you find maggots in food or trash, you can boil them and the eggs together to kill them. Boil them? Who's taking the maggots inside? Another option is to thoroughly sprinkle them <laughs> with salt or spray them with insecticide. You did it. Boil. You can boil them and and the eggs. Well, that's together. for the Filipinos because they eat them after. Is that how you guys want it? Do you guys eat maggots? No. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Funky overseas stuff. Oh, dude, look at this. Yeah. This is this. I got this sent to me. This is real Cheetos that taste like steak. From where? This is this is all Japanese Open stuff. Open it up. Let's see if it. I'll, I'll see if it yeah, tastes try like one. steak. Have you eaten one of these yet? No. These are this just came into me today. This is from a guy who sent them to steak me. Steak Cheetos. This is a guy named this is a guy named Sunny Hill Exotics and he sent me all this stuff. Look at this. Yeah, yeah. Oreo thins vanilla mousse. That sounds good, right? You've had these pink go. Kit Kats from Japan, right? These are the these are the best. Oh. Does it taste like steak? Let me see. We got to give some commentary. People don't want to hear you chew for 3 minutes. I know, hold on. Well, give me the give me Let the bag. Taste it. Can I have the bag so we can? I, Jules can have some, it, and I can. Uh, can I be honest with you? Yeah. Here's my commentary. Give it. It tastes like Doritos. If they just put some salt on it, it doesn't have a steak taste at all. Not, not to me, no. Not even a little bit. No. I mean, I had steak for dinner. Maybe that's what it is. Be honest, steak. No, but they're good. They're very good. It's not steak. Yeah, it's not steak, but it's good. What is it, though? It kind of tastes like... Let's try another one. This yeah, one yeah. is... Let's see. This one is... What is that? That's... Who can read that? That's, um... It's, what's a symbol? What's a symbol? You can't really tell. Look I can't. I'll be able to. You are your Asian. You should be able yeah, to know yeah. what it is. That symbol is... Do you like it? That symbol is no. pork. No? It looks like pork. That's what I thought it was. I think it's pork. You do? Yeah, yeah. Try that one. Open that one. And this one is... This one is, um... See, it says made with real beef. These these are made with beef. Is that one good? Oh my god, it's terrible. It's bad, <laughs> but kind of good. <laughs> uh, honestly, yeah, these will fuck you up. Why? Because they're... because you don't know see. what it is. <laughs> I know. Because I don't know what that symbol is. Right, that could be so that, freaking me out. Could be dog testicles yeah, that no, you're right. eating right now. <laughs> Let's see. This is pork. No, that's good. I like it. You do? No. I hate it. It's gross, but yeah, it's, it's gross. good. No, it's not good. Let the flavor hit. Yeah, no, it's the basket. Yeah, yeah, I don't like it. Maybe that went bad. It went bad. Give me, um... This is Jolly Rancher Misfits, 
And look at this. Yeah, These yeah. Oreo wafer roll sticks. Okay, what do you want? You want this one? This is real beef. This says it's made with real beef. You it's want to try? Made with real beef, dude. Give me the fucking um. Made with real beef. Dude, just because it says it doesn't mean it's true. Of course it does. Everything is true if it's printed. Yeah, but everything e is true if it's printed. It, no, but you could all. It could be soaked in like some sort of, you know, pork broth. No, it says made with real beef. Cran if cranberry ginger ale. Okay, give me the um sweet stuff. Which one? These? Like that. Yeah, what the is Jolly that? Ranchers, yeah. Misfits, Gummies. Mm -mm. Yeah, this guy sent me this stuff. When we were in Japan, all, did you like these? It's okay. Well, did you like the first one? I like the second one. You like this one better? You can keep them. Here, keep them. No? I have the Kit Kat. Yeah, you want a Kit Kat? These are fucking, dude, these are fucking amazing. Bob. I'll eat one later. Liquid, liquid IV! IV! Oh, dear God, I hate water, but hate you know it. what? When it's mixed with liquid IV, it's heaven on earth. Muy bueno. Because I'm getting nutrients and vitamins and different things. The Part hot summer months are here, man. Yeah. You know, you need to be proactive and keep your body fueled up and hydrated. One stick of liquid IV in 16 ounces of water hydrates faster and more efficiently than water alone because boo water, throw in some flavors like watermelon, strawberry, lemon, lime. It sounds and tastes delicious. Yeah, and how, how do you use liquid IV? Yeah, I take it first thing in the morning. I usually take it when I wake up. I chug a big glass of water because I read that that's good for you, but I like to put stuff in it. Let me ask you this. Yeah. What do you love most about liquid IV? I, I, to be honest with you, I do like the, the flavoring is good because I'm like I, I'm trying not to drink soda anymore, so liquid IV helps, and uh, it does taste delicious. I think the apple pie is my, that's my favorite. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's my favorite. Let me ask apple Jules pie. a question. Yeah. Which hydration flavors or products do you like the most, Jules? Which one do you like, Jules, of all the liquid IVs? I like the lemon lime. Oh, lemon oh, lime that's is good. good answer. Old school. That's very old school of you. You it, know, it contains five essential vitamins, more vitamin C than an orange, and as much potassium as a banana. That's really good. It hydrates you faster, more efficiently than water alone. And uh, also, they're giving out a bunch of stuff. Uh, they give, uh, they've donated four million servings in response to COVID-19, so they're doing a, a good thing. So grab your liquid IV in bulk at Nationwide at Costco. Or you can get 25% off when you go to liquidiv.com and use the code BADFRIENDS at checkout. Hey, hey, Jules, read the last one. That's 25% off anything you order when you get better hydration today using promo code BADFRIENDS at liquidiv.com. MeUndies! Hi, friends. What are you wearing right now, Bob? Oh, MeUndies. It's me my favorite undies. underwear underwear of all time. And it's um, not only do I like um, the sustainable, breathable quality of the fabric and stuff, but I love the designs. They're yeah. so cute and the colors. And I, I have panda ones. I have ones with giraffes on them. I have pizza. P yeah, pizza. Pizza's and they're so favorite. cool. Yeah, they are cool. They're, uh, they got classic colors. They got the regular stuff if you're boring or you can have fun. And they go from sizes uh, extra small all the way up to 4XL. So Rudy to Bobby. And uh, we both love MeUndies. We wear them all the time. They have great offer for our listeners. If, you're, if you've never had MeUndies... You don't know what's going on because it's so comfortable and they don't they don't bunch up and all that stuff. Andrew, Andrew, yeah. I have a, you know what? I just thought of this, okay? What? I have a great off, offer for our listeners. I'll give it to them. Okay, for any first-time purchasers, you'll get 50% off and free shipping. MeUndies also has their problem-free philosophy. If you're not satisfied with any product for any reason, they'll refund or exchange it. No Caveats, no question. Yeah. Yeah, to get your 15%. Caveats. Yeah. Caveats. yeah. To get 15% off your first order and free shipping, go to meundies.com slash badfriends. That's meundies.com slash badfriends. Caveats. But that condo collapse. Look. Let me just talk about it real quick. Let me get this out of my mouth. All right. I wasn't making a joke about the condo collapse. That's sad. Okay? That's very sad. It's, it's nightmarish. It's sad. But also, I, w I have thought about because sometimes when I go skiing and I go off by myself, if I do a couple of runs solo, uh -huh. I genuinely get scared that I'm like, what if I got an avalanche and then what am I going to do? Yeah. What do you, what do you do? They, they can't find you for days and days. You're just sitting there. What do you do? But the condo thing is, I just want to ask you this. I don't think that, isn't there any way to get that shit? Like, because, you know, they did a search and rescue for what? Over a week. Yeah. Right. And if I was literally, if if my brother or you or anybody was in that rubble, I'd just be like, get the cranes in there. Let's go. Yeah, but I think it's not as easy as that because if you move one piece, another piece falls. It's like Jenga. You're playing like Jenga. Get the with... best Jenga fucking players in so, the world. Who's the best Jenga player in the world? Look that up. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Get him who's out the there. Get the best Jenga kid out there. It's kind of like how the Japanese kids are with the, with the um, Rubik's Cube. Yeah, you know yeah. those guys that can do it in like... Yeah. 
May 13th at his home in Pima County, Arizona, Ty Star Valentini officially bested his own world record for most Jenga blocks. Get Ty. So get Ty. So we call up Ty Star Valentini. Condo collapse. Call Ty. That's what I'd say as a police. Yeah. Call Ty. Ty shows up, right? Yeah. And he goes, all right, remove that piece first. And he labels them. He goes, A6, B7. (laughs) Right, right, right. H, right, and H, then H4. They, they can go. Are you sure? It's like the probability is ninety eight percent that that that's supporting. He's that. he's, yeah. he's like a he beautiful knows. mind. He's doing he the knows. math on. He can There's like got to be people stone. out there like that. This guy, Ty, yeah, yeah, yeah. Ty Star, Ty Star Valentiani. This brings me up to uh, the most embarrassing that happened to me two days ago. I wasn't even going to bring it up. I'm going to bring it up. Okay, yes. okay. Is that um, I don't know if you guys know, but I'm obsessed with magic. Yeah. All right. I love magic, and I love my favorite magician nowadays is a kid by the name of Shin Lim. Shin Lim. Yeah. He's the best. Where is he from? He won not just America's Got Talent, but he also won the... Um, oh, I know this guy. Right. Yeah. So I'm with Howie Mandel two days ago. Yeah. And I'm like, you know, I, if, I, if I have a wedding, I want... if I, You know, my dream would have Shin Lim help me with the proposal. Do like a magic proposal? Magic proposal. Oh, that's cool. Right. And Howie goes, oh, he's a good friend of mine. I go, oh, that's cool. He's like... And you guys are like, he's Asian. You, you guys, he t- definitely knows who you are. You guys are like Asian? You guys are Asian, so he'll definitely know who you are. Yeah. And in my head, I just assumed he would know me. I don't know why. Because it's Asian, yeah. Right? You would yeah. think, right, if another redheaded guy. That he knows me. He knows me. No doubt. No doubt. If he's a comedian, he knows me. Exactly. Yeah. He's, we're both performers. Entertainment, yeah. He knows me. He knows you. And so Howie hands me the phone first. Oh, your face. Because he doesn't it? have Howie's number. They got his number from somebody else. Oh. So it's like, it's not as if when he called. It says Howie it Mandel. It says Howie Mandel, right? Right. It, he, face, he picks up the FaceTime. And I'm like, hey. And he's like, no, who are you? <laughs> he had no idea. Yeah, and I go, oh, I'm a comedian. He's like, no. Don't know. Is he flipping cards the whole time? Is it no, he's doing his own Vegas show in Mir- the Mirage. He has a right. He's a residency. He's a residency, there, right? Right. He's yeah. like a big star. He's huge. So then Howie takes the phone. Me, it's me, Howie. And but I'm now blushing. Yeah, you feel like shit. I feel like shit. Right. You look like me. And You're now, bright orange. Yeah, yeah. Now I don't even want to. Now you don't want to go see him. No. Let's go see him in Vegas. He said he'd give you backstage pass. Of course he would. Now that that embarrassing moment <laughs> happened, now he has to make up for. I know, but have you seen this guy perform? I saw him on AGT. I saw that this he, guy is so good. Yeah, his stuff. I mean, this, it's, it's it, listen, you can see like because I know Penn Jillette mm-hmm. and it's like you go to YouTube and you see like, you know, um, magic re- revealing videos. Yeah, like they crack the code. They crack and, the code. But a lot of the shit that he does, they can't even they don't know how he does it. Well, that was like Penn and Teller had a show called uh, Fool Us or something like no, that. No, that's and Shin did that. Oh, he did that show. He did that show and they he filled them twice. Two times. Yeah. And then. Penn just called me a week and goes, he wants me on the show. He wants you and on? like a guest judge or something. On the Fool Us or whatever. What yeah, is the, the show Fool called? Us. Is it called? It's called Fool, Fool I think Us. it's called yeah, Fool Us. Yeah. But, um, so let's link up with Shin. Let's get Shin. Let's get Shin. Let's go to Vegas and go watch the show. And then we should be, like, I've figure been, out how I've to. I've been itching to go to Vegas. Me too. I want to go. It's open. You know what she said too? Huh? Her dream is to go to Vegas and go to clubs. It's not a dream. I just want to do it. It's a reality. Let's go. We well, can do it. 2021. Next year. Next, yeah, next one. What 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 month are you again? November, November right? Uh, what if Shin Lim is the door guy in Vegas and we walk up? He's like, I don't, I don't know. Who yeah. <laughs> That'd be embarrassing. Door guys know who we are. No, uh, they're listening. Even today. Yeah. If I go on the road, right? Even before the pandemic, right? And I'll be at a, you know, at a restaurant or something after a show, like a late night, and some guy will go. Hey, there's a club, man. It's like, you want to go? Mm-hmm. Right? Because I'm going to meet a bunch of people there. I strictly, I don't want to go because I might, I, the big, my biggest fear in the world is not being recognized. Is, no, not being able to get in. But they'll set it up so you get in. And, and that happens, like, we went to that, uh, that, remember that ramen place, right? Called Jinya. Yeah, I love Jinya, ramen. right? One, the other, right? The, the last week we tried to go and they're like, no. You thought they were going to notice you and be like, "Oh, we have." Yeah, a but we're like, they're like, "No." Yeah, but but that, but with Vegas, you just pay for it in advance, so it's all. And taken that care no, of. I, it, it it rings in my head. I know. Okay. All night long. Well, here's what I say. I just hear no, 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 no. Let's get the palm. Let's get the hotel. Let's get the um, room at the palm where it has the pool. You know that goes out over the. Let's do it. Yeah. Let's do it. And let's take a private jet. And you know who will pay for it? What? George. 
Their company. That's right. Their company. But you know what I love to they do? They produce the show. We can go show. watch. We can go. We can get Shin Lim. We can we'll get, get Shin Lim right? tickets. We can see Penn and Teller because yeah. they're my friends now. VIP. Right. VIP Penn and Teller. Carrot Top. You know Carrot. You must. We all know each other. Okay. Good. <laughs> so you and Carrot. Yeah. Right. Means, Is that, can you say? Can you call him Carrot or? Do you I call can. Him? I can. You can't. I have to call him Carrot Top. You say CT or Carrot Top. Yeah. <laughs> right, right. Right. I can call him Carrot. Right. So, um, <laughs> you really play because whenever I see him, I've seen him five times in my life. I always say Carrot Top. You you have to. And say it's carrot. weird to say the whole thing. What's up, Carrot Top? Have to. Yeah, yeah. You can't say Carrot. What's his first name? Spion. <laughs> no, what's his real name? I have no you idea. Don't know what it... I've never known his real name because I love it when you see a famous person that has a different name, but they're like. Call me by Scott. Yeah, call me by my real name. It is weird when he's like, when he's like, "Hey, I'm Scott," and you're like, "You're a carrot top." You're not Scott. <laughs> I don't, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. No, you're not. You're, yeah, yeah, yeah. Your name is not Scott. Yeah, that is funny that I assume you assume that that other person, their yeah. real name, it doesn't exist anymore. Yeah, it's like that guy that did our show, Chad. Yeah, Chad. That's not his real name. I know it's not. It's yeah. Tom. Yeah, Chad and JT. And he goes, he, when I first met him a couple weeks ago, he was like, T- just call me Tom. I go, no, it's Chad now for life. It has to be. It has to be. But, but I'm not calling Edge anything else. No. It's the Edge. <laughs> it's it's right? the Edge. Sting is Sting for yeah. life. Bono is Bono for life. What is Sting's real name? I don't even know. No one cares. That's insane. Isn't that funny? Yeah. At some point, you, who's, what's Sting's real name? Yeah. Let's take a guess. Hold on. Let's do, before you, what's Sting's real name? Leonard. Guess. Leonard? Yeah. That's such a good guess. What? Adam. Adam. I'm going to say it's Robert. British. Uh, maybe, yeah. British. Sting, what's, yeah, what's let's, Sting's this is a real fun name? Because I don't yeah. know these names. Gordon Matthew Thomas Sumner. Yeah, it's Gordon. What's CBE? That's when you get, uh, um, you know, is that when the, the, you get knighted by the queen? No, he has like a, probably like a CBD company that... <laughs> Right, marijuana. What is CBE? Is that that's when you get knighted, right? You put C. You're allowed to put CBE at the end of your or okay, something. What's Prince's real name? Do you know? Prince's real name was um, Marcus or something like Marcus. What was it? I don't know. I, what do you think? I want to go for. Dude, this is really Marlon. Hard. Marlon. Okay, Marcus Marlon. What's Prince's real name? Michael. 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 Marlon. <laughs> what's Prince's real name? His real name is Prince. Prince Rogers Nelson. You know how dope that is? His real name is Prince. That's pretty dope. It's cool. That's why that guy was so cool. Yeah. His parents birthed him into being cool. And he was so androgynously cool. Like, he wasn't gay. He wasn't straight. He wasn't He wasn't a guy. He wasn't a girl. Bro. He wasn't black. He wasn't white. I went to some NBC... They, I, I was... Like maybe the Upfronts or something like that where it was like at a bar. Mm-hmm. He wasn't... He and the bar was attached to another bar, so the only way to get to this other bar is through the shitty bar that I was in. So annoying, right? Yeah. So he walked through with his entourage, and I'm like sitting there with. I mean, there's a bunch of celebrities in the room, right. right? Like big TV stars and whatnot, right? As soon as he walked in, the the music stopped. You could hear no sound in the bar. Silence. And people just went, <laughs> like silent, like somebody had died. <laughs> And he's just kind of walking through, and everyone's just kind of looking on the ground. How smooth did he walk? Oh, my God. It was just like, he, was, he didn't have the legs. He floated. He was floating. He was like shifting yeah. through the room. Yeah, he was going, ah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> ah, yeah, yeah. Like, that's, the, that's how he breathes. Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. That's how he breathed, right? And he just kind of floated. It, it felt like 10 minutes. Yeah, like uh, it was and, in slow motion. I remember just going, like, I was crying. He started. You started crying. Oh my god! I was like, my le- lips were trembling. <laughs> it's Prince, dude. I was crying. My lips were trembling. And I, yeah, yeah, yeah. And he oh, got floating by. And as soon as he left, people just started. T- then talking. the music yeah, kicked back on. Came back, back on. I feel but like that's what held, happens. Guys like him mm-hmm. can stop anything. Everything. Everything. I when mean, they, I, yeah. And, and I don't think you can have. No one has that kind of power anymore. Like the Beatles back in the day. Well, that's different. We could stop. The like, world. The world. They could tell everyone to kill themselves. They could be like, we're all going to commit suicide on the 14th. Everybody would. Yeah, if there could be like, <laughs> it could be the first day of like some sort of marine training mm-hmm. and people are like climbing the thing. As soon as the Beatles showed up, they just would <laughs> freeze. <well> freeze <laughs> on the fucking thing. On the cargo On the nets. cargo thing. And, it, it, you know, and they would walk by and then they would keep going afterwards. I mean, they just have that kind of like. Or oh, essence. Power. You know, sometimes you do meet celebrities and they have that. When I f- first was a PA, yeah. I met Bradley Cooper before he was Bradley Cooper. Yeah. When he was kind of still like on the come up. Yeah. And I was a PA and I had to walk him to one of the executive's offices. And we get to the office and he was really, really handsome. And I walked him there and like, 
he was really nice. He asked me my name and everything, and I said, okay, you're good in here. And then nobody was in there. His This guy's assistant was gone. And he goes, you want me to just wait in this empty room? I was like, uh, I mean, you don't have to. You can go back. We can go back to the front. And he's like, you have a kitchen? And we go to the kitchen, and I'm not kidding. He's like, oh, I just want to make something to eat real fast. And he opens the fridge, and he takes out deli meat, like a piece of deli meat, and he wraps it in a piece of cheese. Mm. And he's just eating it, talking to me. But even him eating it was really ha- sexy. <laughs> I was just like watching him eat a, de- a hand sandwich. Yeah, and- Brent Morin says the same thing You're about just him. Sexy dude. Brent Morin was working at Conan. Remember? When he was at Conan, yeah. And he ran into Bradley P- Cooper, and I guess Brent Morin, they were talking face to face, and he had the urge of just going, <laughs> just like kissing him. him on you the know mouth. what I mean? Yeah, he was really you hot. Know who, okay, so he was hot, dude. This is when I was shy Make and I didn't know jealous. what to say. Mm. But if I had this opportunity, so it's not as big as. Oh my god, blow that image up! It's not as big as Bradley Cooper. So when I was on Mad TV, mm-hmm. we had a young actor, yeah. Ryan Reynolds. Oh, yeah. Right? So Ryan Reynolds is sitting there with Dick Blasucci, right? And, the, and is, Who is that? The executive Dick, producer? The executive producer right. of Mad. And Dick goes, Bobby, sit here. Meet Ryan. <laughs> I didn't know who he was really much, right? But I just sat next to him, right? <laughs> and I was just like, you don't know what to say. Like, now? What are you going to say? I'll t- now? No, different. With what who you- I am now? Yeah. That I would be having that guy's number in my phone in five minutes. Well, you'd be making jokes. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I would be able to get him into my world in five minutes. But back then, <sighs> <laughs> yeah, it's so awkward. What's going on? Well, the, what, what? Like, I don't know what think to about say. It like this. You know when someone comes up to you, yeah, and they say hello to you, yeah, right, and they don't know what to say because they they're a fan. Yeah, it's the same feeling. Yeah, you know who came up to me today in the airport? Who? A pilot. A pilot is walking. You know how they walk with like the, the, the flight attendants. Me. Two pilots are walking. The flight attendant or, with two flight attendants, and he literally we, we we cross each other, and he goes Santino, and I turn like yeah. I know him. Yeah, yeah. I go hey, yeah, and he goes hey, and I was like I don't fucking know this guy. I have no, <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. but he didn't know what to say. He just yeah, wanted yeah. to say hi. Yeah, and yeah, he goes, yeah. Where are you going? Where are you going? Where are you going? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I love like, it. Where the fuck yeah, do you yeah. think on a plane? But you make them feel comfortable, right? I try, but it, it sometimes the energy is weird when people say hi, and I don't know what to say. Yeah, like especially if they go, like this dude in the bar at the bar, this, this big, this big Jack Black dude in the bar. He goes, "Hey, are you that dude from Dave?" And I was like, "Yeah." And he goes, "Yeah, I thought so." <laughs> I know. What do I say? You never, you don't know what to say. I just go, uh, "Yeah." You don't know what to say. It's me. Yeah. Don't hurt me. I guess. I hope you like it. Yeah. Because what if somebody goes, "Hey, Bobby Lee." Right, you're Bobby Lee. They, black people do that to me. You know where they go? Yeah, my dog. My and dog. And they'll give me a pound. Right. And I'll go, oh, thank you. And like, I because I want to go opposite. Right. I don't go, yeah. No, <laughs> no, no I, you know, that'd be weird. Yeah. I just play to my fucking strengths and go, hey, what's up, buddy? Right. <laughs> and they go, my dog. My dog. And I, I do a little pound. That's all I do. You want to really put them in, a, in an awkward position? What? And they go, well, my dog. Just bow and see what they do. Oh, this we really like that. My dog. What's up? Uh, don't don't say my buddy. No. Oh, okay, just, all right. All right. Go my ahead. My dog. <laughs> that. No, no. Perfect. No. Why? They would love it. They go. This motherfucker's hilarious. Oh yeah. That'd or be they funny. call you stupid. When black dudes call you stupid, that yeah. means they love you. Yeah. When they go, he's stupid. They love you. Yeah. It's you know I love <sighs> black people. Yeah. Well, I mean, especially comics because I just have an angle with all of them. <laughs> and it's. What do you mean? <sighs> It's hard to explain. I'm going to try to explain it. You're going to say like a minority angle? No. What? It's a different. It's a it's a touching me for a little too long angle. What do you mean? Like they t- like no like you're... if like I see Ian Edwards or anybody or I saw Finesse Mitchell the other day right right and they they're happy. What's up, man? Mm-hmm. Shit. And I hug right, and I hug enough until they pull away. Oh yeah 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 yeah. Right, yeah. but you can tell like I'm bringing them in and they have to physically. <laughs> Force their way out. Black guys have a, a time limit on how time long limit. You can that's what hug it is. Him. Yeah, a white guy, you can hug and kiss me on the face, and we'll laugh about I, it. I know, I know, I know. You can't do that to the black guy. Yeah, I know, and I love it. Yeah, they got to push because you away. they go. Ah, you're weird, None man. Of that gay shit. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> I do that, like Donnell. Oh my god, like I, I'll like take my fingers, right. like if he's sitting there in the Mitzi's booth in the OR. Yeah, and he knows he doesn't know I'm coming, and he thinks I'm a girl. And I'll just lightly in the back of his head do this, <laughs> right? And he'll be like, he thinks it's Whitney or something, right? And he'll right. be like, God damn, motherfucker. You know I mean? like, he'll like really get angry, right? Why? Because he, he think, loved it at first. He thinks that like God is watching. And when he gets to the afterlife, he's going to be like, you had seven gay moments. Let's play them back. <laughs> like they saved all these I, I times when so something funny. weird. But it's so funny. Like whenever I have ha- ever had like 
f- gay moments, uh-huh. you it's you have to laugh them off. Like when I go, like when I when Justin Martindale used to take us out to gay nightclubs, yeah. and my penis would get grabbed. The amount of times I was sexually assaulted in a gay nightclub, every time I've gone out, Bro. every time, just like grab my pe- like, and they pull on it like it's a yank chain from a toilet in England. Yeah, they're like, hello, they grab at your yeah, fucking yeah. dick, and you just have to go. <laughs> There's nothing you can do. I was at the Abbey. Yeah. With my friend Mike, who's I've gay, been there. Right? We are at a table. Mm-hmm. And he knows eight of these dudes. Well, that they is there. Yeah, they all know each other. They all know each other, right? Yeah. And they're having, right, drinks. I'm having Diet Coke. I don't drink, right? And my knee, right, brushed up, up against another guy's knee that's across me. I don't know, that's right? That's a go. But, but you know that I have, what do you call it? Clubbed feet? OCD. What? I have to touch things three times. Oh, yeah, OCD. Right. Yeah, so in my head, I'm like, I got to now brush my knee. <laughs> Shut up. I swear to God. Two more times two more against time, his leg. Right? So I go, one, <laughs> two. He thinks now. That's a signal. Yeah, that I'm like, That's we, like we're going to go fuck in the bathroom. Yeah, it's tapping R- onto the right? stall. So that he kind of like puts his hand on my knee like this. No. Yeah. But what do you do? You have to I let pulled, it be. No, no, I pulled away and he uh-huh. goes, he goes, excuse me. And I go, excuse me. And he goes, he goes, and I go, oh, I'm not gay. And he goes, I thought you were. Oh. No, I'm not. But Sorry. Yeah. I'm sorry. But it's like... But you did end up... I, I blew him in the bathroom. You have to. <laughs> yeah, I had to. Because <laughs> I did have the, a choice. Yeah, yeah. You did I did the, the knee once thing. Once you did the knee thing. I, the knee thing fucked me. Hello, Hello Fresh. Fresh. Hello, Fresh. You know, I get excited, Andrew, when I'm hungry during the day and I come home and I see that Hello Fresh box outside my door. I like it, man. I bring it all the way upstairs and I can't... And I always look to see what it is. Yeah, what and then I'll cook it up. And it's the best. And even a simpleton like me can cook it up. <laughs> and, it, and it's like, no, being honest, like it's like real high quality gourmet food. It is delicious, man. They cut out those stressful meal planning. And um, what I like about it is you can get the uh, the quick and easy meals, 15, 20 minute dinners, breakfast on the go. Um, they have for like 50 menu market items every single week, including uh, ready to eat salads, yeah, they, they, sandwiches, they, they, but soups. Andrew, there's something for everyone to enjoy with all recipes designed and tested by professional chefs and nutritional experts to ensure deliciousness and simplicity. Go ahead, Jules. Get better value. HelloFresh is 28% cheaper than shopping at your local grocery store and 72% cheaper than a restaurant meal without sacrificing the quality. It's incredible. Look, I do love this genuinely. I use it uh, constantly. It's always at the house because I need to eat something fast because we've got so much stuff going on. So it's nice to have pre-measured out ingredients and easy step-by-steps to help you put it together very simply. Um, and I do love it when I'm super busy to throw something together. You know, it's- share- Hey, guys. Go to HelloFresh.com slash BadFriends14 and use code BadFriends14 for up to 14 free meals plus free shipping. Go to HelloFresh.com slash BadFriends14 and use code BadFriends14 for up to 14 free meals plus free shipping. HelloFresh, America's number one meal kit. Coinbase! Coinbase. Hey, Andrew, do you identify as crypto-curious? I'm a crypto guy. If you thought about entering the world of cryptocurrency but felt like a little overwhelmed, mm-hmm. Coinbase makes learning to buy and sell simple. I know. A lot of people don't understand it. They think it's some weird club or whatever, but they believe that everyone everywhere should be able to get in the door, whether you've been trading for years or you're just getting started like me, dude. Uh, much coin, such base. You've been following cryptocurrency craze. You know it's a time to get involved right now. Coinbase makes it easy and quick to start your portfolio and learn to trade like a pro. If you've been looking to level up your financial portfolio, it's always good to diversify. Why not think about cryptocurrency? Backed by the world's leading investors, Coinbase keeps your portfolio safe and secure while adding crypto into your mix. That's right. Coinbase offers a trusted and easy-to-use platform to buy, sell, and spend cryptocurrency. Yeah, that's right. They offer portfolio management for protection, learning resources, and a mobile app so you can trade securely, monitor all your crypto in one place. Millions of people are doing this, whether you're looking to diversify or just get started. Get started today with Coinbase. For a limited time, new users can get $5 in free Bitcoin when you sign up today at coinbase.com slash badfriends. Sign up at coinbase.com slash badfriends for $5 in free Bitcoin. This offer is limited time only. Be sure to sign up today, Rudy. That's coinbase.com badfriends. Nope. Slash. Say it again. That's coinbase.com slash badfriends. Without the laughing. Go ahead. That's coinbase.com slash bad friends. Yeah, baby. Yeah, Wait, I want to tell you something yeah. real fast before. <laughs> I went, I, there was a long line in the bathroom at the airport. Yeah. This image was singed in my brain. It was so hard to not start laughing. There's a long line and everyone's doing this thing when there's a line in the men's bathroom. They're like, did you check that stall? Because people are, have to pee so bad. They're yeah. like, because the stall doors are all closed. 
So I'm not kidding. I'm not, I'm not fucking kidding. I'm second to go. And the guy in front of me is like really antsy. Uh-huh. And he goes and he's checking all the stall doors. Yeah. Well, they're all red. They all, like it green to red. Right. They're all red. They're all red. Yeah. Well, one of the locks wasn't locked all the way. Oh, I've done I'm, that. Dude, I'm not kidding. Yeah. He opens it wide up. Yeah. And the dude on the pooper go, goes down to grab his penis. Yeah. And he just goes like this. I'm in here. <laughs> I swear to God, I'm in here. Yeah. And the guy goes, oh, and he closes the door. And it's like, he, he, he didn't <laughs> what have, else could he say? He didn't have to say anything. We see. We see. I know, but what do you say? I open the door, you're pooping. There's like 17 dudes staring at you now. What do you say? I honestly, okay, so I'm pooping. You're pooping. I open swing the open the door. <laughs> <laughs> That's it? Yeah. What if I then go, oh, and then I walk in and just start peeing right between your legs? You gave me the nod. No, that'd be weird. I'd and, pee and, right and that would never your, happen. I'm gonna piss on your chest and it cascade right down you. Okay, okay. That would never happen. <laughs> but if it did happen, yeah. then after that, mm-hmm. every time that happened, I would say, hey, I'm in here. Hey, I'm in here. Yeah, right. But at this point in my life, <laughs> it's never happened. It's never happened before. What would you say if a girl opened the door and you were in there? If a woman opened the door in the stall and you're in the stall, what do you say? I wouldn't say anything. You just stare right at him? I just shut the door back. No, you can't. It's too far away from you. It's you're not it's not that close. I he was in stare. an airport to, it's pitch pushed back. I just stare. Stare at him. Okay. Okay. How about this? How weird. I was in Germany. Mm-hmm. Maybe. Taking a shy 20 up. years ago. <laughs> yeah. I was doing a commercial there. Which one? It's an IBM commercial that they flew me all over the place. Yeah, too. the one with... Uh, the, what's, with the space the, one. With yeah. Air, yeah, right. Uh, jo, uh, Joe Pitka. Yeah. So I um, was in Germany at a steam room. Mm-hmm. And I was the only one in there. So I, there was like two levels. And at the Korean spot where I'm at, where I go right now... I always go to the last level because there's no one ever in there. And I'll just stand there. You stand on top of the, the top level? On the third level in the steam room and just stand there like this. Why do you do that? Why would do, you stand on I the like top? Because I like it super hot. Yeah, and you and I want oh. all the steam to be in every orifice of my body. Yeah. So stand there like this, right? And then three <laughs> – in, in Germany, I did this. Mm. Three hot chicks walk completely naked. It's mixed. <laughs> no. It's mixed. <laughs> so I was like – <laughs> were they the co- smallest dick in the steam room? Were they cool with it? No, they were just like, "What the fuck is this little Asian guy?" Vasa <laughs> Stas. Yeah, yeah. It must have been a, like they thought it was a gargoyle, a part of the uh, ambiance. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Jose included a gargoyle inside they his mixed, steam room. I don't know if it, that if that's true now, but back in the day, twenty years mixed? ago, it was mixed. Like you would have old ladies, and everyone would be naked. It was a, it wasn't a problem. It's kind of harmonious. I think it's better. H- have you ever been to a nude beach? Oh, yeah. Once you go to a nude beach one, once you kind of understand who goes to nude beaches. It's never... It's never good looking people. Yeah, it's never the ones you want. But it is always old dudes with long penises. Long. They're always long. They may not be thick, but they're long long, penises. Yeah, and gray. Long and gray. Yeah. Gray penises. Long and gray. Because they got to put zinc on it so it doesn't get sunburned. It's like that Beatles song. The long and winding Mm. road. (laughs) I'm serious though. Do you have yeah. to put sunscreen on your penis? Yeah. Would it's... you ever go to a nude beach? No. Why you not? You feel self-conscious? You don't have to get naked at the beach. You know that, right? Yeah. Like you can I wear went. A shirt. I went, and, and you don't have to be naked. Yeah. Oh, then I can go. Right. So you want to see people naked at the beach? Yeah. She's getting curious. Like when I go to nude beach, I'm wearing armor. Yeah. I, yeah. <laughs> like battalion outfit. I'm wearing a sweater. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm wearing a. I'm wearing a jumpsuit when I go to a nude beach. I don't ever like to. I also the idea of your wiener in the sun is weird to me. I, why do you want your penis isn't supposed to have sun all over it? Well, it makes you. But I, who told me this? Somebody told me that they tan their nuts. They tan their nuts. Yeah, they they every day they'll spend an hour in the sun, but they'll put their nuts in the sun, and it makes it more v- v- virile. No way. Yeah. Look that up. Type in testicles in the sun. Type in testicles in the sun. Let me go on like a testy in the sun. <laughs> Testicles in the sun. Testicle sunning, boosting testosterone, sunbathing your balls. That's what I'm telling you. Somebody told me that. <laughs> boosting your testosterone by sunbathing your balls. Yeah. Yeah, that's right. Testicle sunning or sun in your balls. Not to be confused with the viral trend of butthole sunning, which is what I was talking yeah, about. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm talking about nuts. The practice of exposing your testicles to direct sunlight. You're going to be doing it tomorrow, right? I'm doing it tomorrow morning. <laughs> yeah. I'm going to send you video. Can I come with you? 100%. Come by. I'm going to sit let's, up by the pool and do it. Let's tan our nuts let's together. Tan our nuts. But how I, would you do it though? What do you mean? Like, how do I hide my wiener but tan my nuts? Yeah, because I don't want to see your dick. I pull. I, I have my pa- my shorts still on. I just unzip my zipper and pull my nuts through my zip hole. 
go through the fence. Ah, yeah, I see what you're open saying. Open the fence and put my nuts out. I, I'll do that too. Let's do that. Well, you want tanner nuts? Nuts out. I'm so would into put, it. Would you put on um, sunscreen? You would. Thirty, fifteen, maybe. No, I'm not gonna. You don't need it. You 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 can tan a little yeah, bit, yeah. right? Which 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 I want to talk about. You know, because wait, wait, hold on. Now, of course, you might need less time under the sun based on your skin tone. I yeah, it can cause skin damage, skin cancer, but apparently. The, okay, so you really can improve your testosterone levels by sunning your nuts. Maybe this is something I need to try. Yeah. Huh. Butthole sunning is not... Butthole sunning, however, very different. What's that, the point of butthole sunning? It's really good for you. What? They get... They apparent, look, there they are right there. Look, I know, at, the, look at those fellas right there. Yeah, doing yeah, yeah, yeah. But apparently, what? Apparently, high levels of vitamin D can enter through your anal cavity. You know, vitamin D is really good for you. So that's like really good to like sun your butthole. Let's see that video. I want to see these I fellas sun their butt. I never sun my butthole. Full screen that, papa. In a mere 30 seconds, of course, seconds, that's what he looks 100%. like. 100% it's that guy. Of course, that's what he, he's you the one that received more energy oh, you from fuck. this electric node. See? Then you would in an entire day being outside with your clothes on. So you receive more energy when you sun your butthole. This is so tight. I'm doing it t tomorrow. I swear to God. I, I want to do this. Can we get a picture of you and I sunning our butthole yeah. like this? You want to come over to my in? house? Do it yeah, my house? I will. Honestly, dude. We'll tape it tomorrow. You guys all okay. Said, mm -hmm. Should I come to your house? Come to my house. <laughs> oh, yeah. Come to my house in the sun. Yeah, yeah. Because wow. I get a ton of sunlight Who's in the backyard. Who's going to tape it? Because I don't want your wife to tape it. We'll have, uh, we'll have uh, one of the guys. One of these guys do it. <laughs> okay, yeah. Pete, not going. can you come tape us sun in our buttholes? He's got kids. He's not going to... Uh, okay. We don't have to bring the kids. No, but he's not going to tell his wife. I got to go fucking tape the guys sun in their buttholes? It's his job. It's my job. I will you want to... You'll, 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 you'll check it out? So yeah, we'll do do. We'll, for like 30 minutes, we'll sun our buttholes. Well, I don't think it's... I think it's at 30 seconds. I don't think you're supposed to sit in the sun it that It takes long. a while for me. You need a lot of butthole I sun. I think so. <laughs> I don't think it's going to work right away for me. I think I have a lot of like layers of, of stuff. Butthole sunning. Yeah, yeah. So let's do like 30 minutes of butthole sunning. All right, fine. And we'll do 30 minutes of nut sunning. Nut, no, nut sunning has to be much less. No, we'll put stuff on it. Okay, we'll... Get okay. To, go get... We'll go. I'll go to the. I'll, I'll go to the pharmacy. Let's go to CVS and go get. I'll sunscreen. go. I'll get the sunscreen. Okay. I'll get different varieties. Okay. Right. It's pretty uh, rigid already. Bryce. Bryce. Yep. Can you do me a favor and get me another diet coke like this, but do the thing that you did with the lighter to open it? Sounds good. Come Thank up. you. What he? Oh, just you don't know how to do that? How to crack it open? No. Come here. I'm going to teach him. Don't open. It, I'm going to teach him. I, there's no way I'm going to learn. I want you I'll to break the thing. Will you learn, please? We have plenty of those diet cokes. We have seven of those in that thing. Hey. We got a lot of Diet Cokes. I know, but I don't know how to open it. I'm going to teach you, dude. That's how do you do it with a lighter? Yeah. All I'm right. going to show you. But I'm going to... I'm going to... That, that, that starts fights in the house, right? I always go, where's the fucking bottle opener? No, see, I know. Here, give me the lighter so I can... I'm not going to open it. You are, but I'm going to show you the way. Okay. See, you need to put sunscreen... Okay, hold on. I have this one. Okay. You need to put sunscreen on your butthole right now. This says, uh, pose people... Right. You should be sunning. You should be doing it. All right, we'll do it. So look, okay. grab it like this, yeah. and there's one of two ways. Uh -huh. You can either brace it here, uh -huh. right? I like to brace it right here on this U. It's easier. Uh -huh. So you just go like this, and you yeah. see you're bracing it with this, yeah. and all you do is crack it up. It's okay. really easy. Very, very easy. <sighs> all right, so Let's see it. Like this? No, look, look, using this. Look, using that as a... Yeah? Hold on, let me see. No, 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 no. There it is. Yay! Bobby, Bobby, wow. Bobby, Bobby. Yeah, did you like that? Yeah. Yeah, it worked great. The boys were clapping downstairs. Hey, yeah. now that you're in Diet Coke mode, what? I want to show you something. This will be good? Oh, my God. This is my favorite stream of videos on the internet right okay, now. Okay, go ahead. There is a guy. There, Well, there's a group of guys. I don't know the origins, so I, can't, I don't want to speak out of turn. But they play these pranks on each other. Uh-huh. And you've seen this on the internet. I'm sure if you've seen this, if you're on the internet at okay, all. Okay, okay. But look what these boys do to each other. Okay. Asian? Yeah, oh yeah. yeah. <laughs> 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 wait, wait, stop. Stop, stop, stop. <laughs> they put Mentos and Coke and it explodes into order to, for it to, they do this to each other all the time. So it doesn't explode everywhere. He puts his mouth over it to let it stop the stream. Yeah, but why can't they just do it with his hand? It will never work. And it's funnier when it's the other way. Okay. Here you go. Hey, 
I know. Can I just say something? I love these guys. I know, but it's do the one where they're in the car. Though I know it's great. It didn't used to be. That's what I said. When it started out, they used to do it naturally to each other in a car. Yeah, yeah. They would do it in the car, and then now they do it staged, of course. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Look at how big that thing is. Do that again. Dude, it's so fun to it's watch. So I know fun. it's staged anymore, but it's fun yeah. to watch them have fun with each other. <laughs> <laughs> it's so stupid. It's so good. It's so stupid. Yeah, yeah. I'm gonna be in that house party movie, and uh, oh, you already did it? No, I'm gonna do it next week, and then I do it in August again. Wait, wait. So I'm uh, the only white guy in the house party. I swear who's to God. In it? I mean, if, if every cool black person, and then me. Then tell, like, me, tell me who's in the house party. It's like it's, it's like they put up the they put up the breakdown and they were like, cool black guy, cool black girl, cool black guy, and cool black girl. Yeah. And Andrew Santino. And I'm like, eh. I want to see who's in it. DC who's Young, it? DC Young Fly, Erie Soleil, uh, Tosin Cole, George Lindbergh Jr. These are all like cool young hip black guys yeah. and girls. Wow. Yeah, they're cool as shit. And we're and are then, they funny? And then I'm in it. I'm in it. It's a comedy though, no? It's house party. It's like it's a remake of that of, of yeah, it's a kid, comedy. And, kid and plays yeah, comedy. Yeah. yeah. Um, I would play. I don't. Are like, you a cop in it? What are you? A, I'm an ex. I'm one of the dorky next door neighbors, like the white, like, hey guys, turn it down. That's me. Oh, I love it. Yeah, I love it. Well, like you know, did you see the original John Witherspoon? Rest in peace. Yeah, one of the greatest. Was it, he in the house party? He was. He was in the original. He was one of the neighbors. Oh, I didn't know. Yeah, dude. Oh, which is sad because if he was still around, you know, they would have had him play that as, as like an homage again. Right. I love that when actors get to come back to movies that they first did and get to redo it. I'm actually. Can I be honest with you? Yeah. I'm envious that you're in that movie. And House Party? Oh yeah. I'm in it for three tenths of a second. It's it, not. It's not even going to be real, dude. It's not. It, it, I'm not in the movie. For what it's worth, I'm like. Oh, right, I mean, there's a house party going on. I'm the next. I'm one of the neighbors. Right, right. So it's like there's always that. Yeah, I'm always in any yeah. neighborhood movie. Right. Totally. There's always that annoying neighbor. Yeah. Right. So you knock on the door. Yeah. So there'll be a scene of you knocking on the door, mm -hmm. like a cop or whatever. Mm -hmm. And excuse me, can you turn it down, please, fellas? Yeah, well, I'm not gonna guy? give. I'm not gonna give away what the scene is, but yes, I. But come. it's that type of scene, mm -hmm. right? Yeah, you're gonna be in the movie, and it's gonna be memorable. Uh, mm, maybe. Yeah, I, I could easily see them. Uh, um, uh, ro the rooming me, you know. Did they? Do you, you don't die in it? <laughs> no, but something happens to you. Yes, something crazy. Something cool. Because you know, I, it, it's so funny. You are. You know how they? Yeah. Yeah. They because, reintroduce me to do something cool at the end. Yeah, yeah, something crazy though something, that happens to you. Right? Something that you'll that you will go. I love it. I love, love it. it. Yeah, you'll because love it. I love the Ferris Bueller. Have you, hey, Jules, you ever see Ferris Bueller's Day Off? No, no way. I knew she okay. hasn't. No Great way. Movie. One of the best movies the best in the history of film. History John of film. Hughes. John Hughes. Yo. Yeah. Tim Robinson's show. I think you you should leave. Have you ever seen it? Who's Tim Robinson? Holy shit! You don't know who Tim Robinson is? No. Oh my god. Tim Robinson it was a writer for Saturday Night Live. He's an amazing comedian. Yeah, yeah. He had a show on Netflix called I Think You Should I Think You Should Leave. Yeah. And the first season was great. The, the second season just came out. It's I'm not kidding. It's one of the funniest things I've ever seen in my life. Because you've said that before and then I've knockout. tried to. It's knockout hilarious. Here's the pro here's the thing about sketch. I'm gonna preface this and I'll say this to our audience too. Yeah. And I loved him. I texted him on the plane and I said, dude, yeah, incredible. The thing about sketch is, and my this is my stupid opinion. Oh my god, I love it already. You either are hitting a home run, yeah, or it's a foul ball. Yeah. So here's what I like about sketches. Uh-huh. Sometimes it's a miss. Yeah. Sometimes it's a strikeout. Yeah. That happens in all of them. Yeah. But the ones that are home runs. Are fucking classics. amazing. Yeah, there's no double. I mean, Key and Peele had some. Key and Peele had the classics, and they had a couple of the funniest things you've ever seen in your they life. Had some couple misses, of them couple that were foul a balls, long and, and, yeah, yeah, yeah. And yeah. Weird, yeah. But this guy, Tim Robinson, is yeah. a fucking genius, and I'm telling you, dude. Yeah, this show has some bits in it that will you will shit your pants. They're so funny. Oh, I can't wait to watch I, it. You're gonna love it. Yeah, yeah. You're going to love it. I already can see it in my head. You're gonna love it. Yeah, yeah. It's he's quirky. He's great. No, I just, from the photo itself. Oh, he's so good. You mean, it's like, oh, I have to watch that. Have you guys seen it? I've seen the first season. Yeah, it's great. You like the first season? Yeah, I haven't seen the second. I think this is better than the first season. Really? I, I like the first season, but I think this has more home runs in it because what he does in it, he goes through this world of like, 
reintroducing characters and old bits from other, which I love. You know, Mr. Show used to do that. Remember yeah, Mr. Yeah, Show? Yeah, yeah. Same thing where you're like, oh, that's that guy. That's the character from this other sketch that he put into this sketch. Yeah, and yeah. it's a callback. Yeah. It's really wonderful. You've seen it, huh, Pete? Yeah. Bryce, you never watched it? Not yet. You don't have time. Um, you're gonna watch this. Hold on. I want someone sent me this video. I want to show. I want to show you this real fast because okay. this guy is my favorite guy. Do you know who Kevin Samuels is? Have you ever heard of him? Oh, Do you know who that is? I don't know anybody. This guy's amazing. This guy. So he's like a. <laughs> I'm gonna okay. preface this. Okay. This guy is like a motivational speaker, um, and particularly he talks often to black audiences only. Like his directive is like helping black men and women talk open and honestly about relationships and sex and presentation and he's a little uh brutally honest okay so watch okay. some of the, this <laughs> just watch some of this you got a big dick huh you have a big dick i mean it's above average i ain't no ron above, jeremy no no, no 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 i asked you if you had a big dick i just said it was above average i don't know what that is really you got a big dick <laughs> every dude know whether or not he got a big dick i know i got a big dick you don't know I mean, you don't have a big I, dick. That's the point. You don't have a big dick. You don't have a big wallet. You a bit. You a fat dude. And you got a lot of nerve thinking you should get choosing signals at five foot ten and three hundred pounds, making less than a thousand dollars a month at twenty years old. <laughs> and women should approach you. What they get? They don't even get a big dick. <laughs> Dude, he, and the he, other guy, and then he hangs up on people. Yeah, the other guys are like, "Oh, <laughs> I, I, I would shoot myself in the face." People call Bobby. People call him for advice, yeah, and yeah. they let him shit on them. I got to see more. Yes, he's. I love this guy. He's amazing. It's Kevin Samuels. Who's we? A black man? Who is that? Who's we? Who who is that? Who is That's that? Hello. Yeah, check your shit. I'm talking <laughs> oh, to one person, not like you. You realize I fuck you up, Kevin. Really? We'll fuck you up. <laughs> Get this big bitch. Look at this little fool. You like men, Kevin. We'll Look fuck at this you little up. fool. Look at this little fat fool. <laughs> That's why I just sat there and let her talk. Bro. That's why I just sat there and let her stupid ass talk. <laughs> this is why you're dying alone. I just let her sit there and talk. I found God. I done it in this. Ain't nobody rushing to try to make. That was a stray. Bro, yeah, it's endless. I've watched this. I'm not kidding. I've watched. I have to watch all. I watch hours of him. Hours. How do you find? How do I find? Go, him? Kevin Samuels. Just YouTube, on YouTube all of it. Kevin Samuels. Wait, but let me tell you one before this next one okay. plays. The funniest one I think I've ever seen in my life. Yeah, he's got a guy and a girl. I couldn't find it. He's got a guy and a girl, and he's doing kind of like a match, a matching thing. But he, all he's really doing, he's setting them up to tell them their flaws. To each other, yeah. Like making her go, "What don't you like about this guy?" Yeah. And in the middle, he's adding stuff. So she'll go, "Well, he, you know, he's bald," and he'll go, "Yeah, he bald and he's fat and he got big old forehead." And he'll just like, <laughs> "Yeah, yeah, yeah." And they love it. They do. And they take it. But but but, but is it is he a relationship coach? No, dude. He is a life. He is a, a life coach. Yes, and particular his whole goal was like to get away from these. I deserve um, uh, stigmas of like. A lot of times he would try to coach women and be like, here's why guys don't want you. This is his right. whole thing. By the way, white guy, canceled. This is if this is a white guy, oh, done. They, they're gonna kill Out. him. They're gonna kill Out. him. They're gonna kill him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, but but in the black in the black community, yeah, they can take this fun honesty and they go back and forth. If okay, you said me, that to a group of white chicks, yeah, they'd sue you. Yeah, yeah let me they'd see. Sue let you. me see. Talk about this. No man. Marriage is a natural choice. Because if marriage was a spiritual choice, God would be responsible for all the divorces, and He is not. But God created marriage. No, He did not. Him. Uh, yes, He. No, did. He didn't. Okay, you're going to argue. Okay. I'm not going to argue. You're 24. Okay, you're not going to argue with me because one, I know what I'm talking about, and I can. First of all, even if you're a Christian, you shouldn't be arguing with me in the first place. <laughs> Correct. Were, were Adam okay. and Eve married? Yes. <laughs> Who performed the ceremony? Jesus did. Oh God? shit! <laughs> Seriously, <laughs> I'm saying oh shit because you are you serious? God, a Adam and Eve were married. There was only yep. one person on the planet. It was Adam. God put him to sleep and he re wrote, went inside of him, took out a rib, and said, "Flesh of my flesh." He, he made Eve. 
he presented Eve to Adam. They didn't get married. Who who did the ceremony? Simba? <laughs> Are you kidding? They weren't married. Let me see another one. That yeah. one's okay. okay. Hold on. Let me see another one. And how tall are you? I'm 5'3". How much do you weigh? That's none of your business. I told you I was fat. Oh, okay. We don't play that shit on my channel. <laughs> you get your big fat ass on somewhere. Yeah. <laughs> I don't deal with you big sassy ass broads. <laughs> As an image consultant and as a person and a professional, there it is. you can be 5'3 and weigh so much that you don't even want to tell somebody how much you weigh and think you're going to get a man to marry you, <laughs> a high value man. So you go ahead and go on back over and get your two piece or three piece or whatever you got coming from, you know, Chick-fil-A or Popeye's. <laughs> or, you, know, ass on over. I don't know. you think she talked to Brad that way? Hell no. Oh, I love this guy. Kevin Samuels. Kevin Samuels. Can we find a way to connect with him to get him on this show? Wouldn't you love that? <laughs> yeah, but it's like... Um, this guy's great. He's great, but it's like... Um, he's so mean, it's wonderful. It's mean, but it's not necessarily... Get your big bitch ass out of here. it's not true. What do you mean? Because it's like, this if you're is a 5 through, I it's understand his that. Let me tell you something. Uh, yeah. These people that, the people that call into the show, yeah. they, they know what it is. I know, I know, I get it. So... I understand that, but I'm just saying... So, I'm just saying, it's like, all right, there's several ways mm -hmm. to get a man. Of course. All right? So yeah. if you're 5'3", right, and you weigh, what, 200 pounds? Yes. That's fat, right? Yeah. Right? But the inner skills have to be great. Yeah. He, right? Yeah. So, for instance- He's an image he, consultant. I know. He's, I know. He's talking about image only. That's his whole thing. Right, but I'm just saying that these women are calling. A, I can't find a man. I know. I'm five three. Right? But shame on them so for calling several, this guy. I know, but there's just several. I'm mean, just saying, if I was an like a consultant, a life consultant. Yeah. Right. Like, there's two ways: either lose the weight, look look good, yeah. or become an empire. Right. 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 There's only two ways, but that's not look. I, I, if no, the reason Kalila's with you is not because you're a good looking five foot four guy. Exactly. It's because you're talented. and you're, I have other things. I knew. You make up for your flaws. I looked in the mirror long ago. Yes. And I, 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 I was a young man, and I went, okay. Got to right, better be you funny. You love beautiful women. Yeah. I did. I've always liked it, right? And I'm not like the other guys, my types, going, I'm just going to go for what I, you know, I, I always aim high in everything that I do. Right. Well, because if you, if you aim, you know, shoot for the moon, you'll send, end up in the stars. Yeah. Like, for instance, I came into this business thinking I was going to be Tom Cruise. This is where I landed. Yeah. This is fine by me, though. You're Tongo Cruise now. <laughs> <laughs> right? So what I'm saying is is that, like, you know, I looked in the mirror and I go, what do I need to do? You I figured to out take, your strengths. I had to go, I'm funny, uh -huh. right? I have interest, you know what I mean, in maybe doing some sort of performance. Yeah. Right? I'm not a good musician, so I did that early on. I was That's in some not bands. True. You were a good musician. Okay, right? But it's like, I think that I got to do something. So I did incredible like risk risk taking like i would just go up i have no experience performing really right so i walked up to a club and i just signed my name and i waited for six hours they called my name and i ran up there and i have no writing you know what i mean i don't went to a seminar or i'd go to college for writing yeah me neither i just wrote down whatever i thought might be funny and 95 percent of it was junk but every week I would just keep going and then I would go three, four, five times a week. And eventually I figured it out. And then eventually I started getting women that were like above my pay grade. Pay grade. Yeah. Right. So I'm just saying that I know what he's saying. Well, he's, the, first of all, what he's doing is entertainment. Like he's just doing this just to create content. It is funny. He's trolling people. He's trolling people. But it it's funny. wonderful. It is wonderful. I want him on the show. I want Kevin on the show. But you don't feel bad for these women that are calling in? I, I didn't say any of the mean things. I like listening to it because it's hilarious. Yeah. But he does this to guys. In the first clip we saw, he's like, you got a big dick. Yeah, yeah. And he does like, it to everybody. Yeah. He's trolling you. And by the way, that's my point, is if you don't like him or you don't like the behavior of that, of that talk, don't call in. Don't watch. Don't listen. Right, right. That's my whole point about censorship in our business at all. Howard Stern has been the filthiest mouth. Like, here's a dude who's like, I'm a vegan and I re we rescue dogs. It's like, dude, he spent the first half of his career being like, show me your tits. I mean, yeah. dude, what do you mean? He's a shock well, jock like, guy. Even us. It's like, I've, I've read comments on Bad Friends yeah. stuff. The worst podcast or whatever I might say. The worst? You, did they think we're the worst? Somebody had said that. The worst or podcast. Like, uh, there are so many worst podcasts. Unlistenable, right? Every really? week, they say, every week it's unlistenable, right? Huh. But they listen every week.
Yeah. Oh, right. Yeah, right. So right. it's like it kind of is like there's way worse you? podcasts out there. Good for you. Um. <laughs> <laughs> my point is, is, is that like I should stop reading that shit. Yeah. hundred percent. A hundred percent. A hundred percent. It doesn't mean anything. You know what? Know. Yeah, and you, let me say this. Yeah. Let me say this because I'm going to close the episode with something sweet. Out of all the questions I got this this past week in Houston, a lot about you, which was very annoying. It's very annoying because she's getting a little bit too big for her britches and I'm yeah. getting a little frustrated. Yeah. And they all asked about her because they love you. And at the very end, one guy said, I don't have a question. I have a comment. I just want to thank you and thank you guys for giving us content every week for doing what you do because it means a lot to us whether or not you recognize that we know that it's, you know, putting in work and time and effort and all that stuff. So to that dude... I wish I'd give him a big hug. I think that was amazing because I we do appreciate all the fans. I don't give a shit about comments, positive or negative. I just want to say thank you to the fans because it does mean a lot, dude. It means a lot when they come to the shows and they're super supportive and they're excited about this us doing this. I mean, when, I'm the, being when, genuine. When I ended that last La Brea, a lot. La Brea show I did, they're all you know you were you had left the stage. Yeah, and I I literally tried to be vulnerable and I said to and I really meant it. I said. I, I just I, uh, I like you guys have rec recreated me. It's reinvented. You reinvented me. Yeah. And I feel like you know I've I've had fans before, but not this intense and personal. And so it's like when they come up to me and they go, "Can I get a photo?" Or I it, I talk to them like regular, like it's regular. It's like it is. I think I thank them. Look them in the eyes. I thank them. I say I take every photo. Yeah. And I'm and I'm just very like. In awe of it, and I, I, and it, you know, I know that we do what we do. You know what I mean, as a service, you know, whatever. But well, we, we love get, it. We get it back though from them. Oh yeah, dude. And it, it it fuels us, and it's like it literally is just the m most amazing life that I could ever imagine. We love you guys. You do it. I thought you were gonna do it with me. Just I was do really. It. Let's do it really softly and quietly because we mean it. Thank you for being a bad friend. Woo!